Hello students, welcome to the science class. I am Shilpa, I'll handle science for grade 5. So from past two sessions, we are discussing about circulatory system. And we have completed some topics like circulatory system and its function, three parts of circulatory system. In that we have completed heart, structure, function, how to keep our heart healthy, yoga exercise for a healthy heart. After that we completed blood and its functions. So today in this session we are discussing about blood vessels what are blood vessels blood vessels are thin muscular tubes here in this picture you can see it's like a tube like structure and it forms the network throughout our body so that the blood can easily transport it to all over the body is there any kinds of blood vessels yes there are three types of blood vessels namely arteries veins and capillaries so they are nothing but arteries veins and capillaries so let us see one by one before going to the arteries veins and capillaries let us see the picture of blood vessels so this is the picture of blood vessels here you can see the blood vessels which are red in color is called as artery and the blood vessels which are blue in color is called as vein in between the arteries and the vein here you can see the network like structure it's nothing but capillary capillary actually which connects both arteries and veins so now we'll discuss about arteries so arteries are the largest among three blood vessels arteries are largest among three blood vessels and it carries the blood containing oxygen from the heart to the different parts of the body this is the main function of arteries and it is important also. Arteries carries the blood containing oxygen from the heart to the different parts of the body. And each artery gets divided into arterioles. They are divided into arterioles. These arterioles forms the network throughout our body. So that blood with oxygen can be reached to each and every cell of our body and the largest artery in our body is iota it is the main artery coming out of the heart and one more important artery is carotid artery which carries the blood from the heart to the brain this is the carotid artery which carries the blood from the heart to the brain so this is about arteries so arteries are the largest among three blood vessels which carries the blood which containing oxygen from the heart to the different parts of the body and it is divided into arterioles. So these arterioles form the network throughout our body. And last, the last point is, and next is veins. So veins are thinner than arteries veins, veins are thinner than arteries and the main function of veins is to carrying the blood from the different parts of the body to the heart it is the main function of veins veins carries the blood from the different parts of the body to the heart and ca veins carry more blood than arteries veins carries more blood than arteries and even veins have a special structure called as valves it's important students veins have special structure called as valves they help in preventing the blood that going towards the heart from flowing back to the body parts that means valves helps in preventing the backflow of blood in our body parts it helps in preventing backflow of blood in our body parts and next is veins are also divided into smaller venules which forms the network throughout our body so that it helps in collecting the blood from the different parts of the body to the heart and then there are two important veins are there which are those superior vena cava so what do you mean by word superior? Superior means upper. Superior means upper. So the main function of superior vena cava is 
to collect the blood from the upper portion of the body to the heart so this is the main function of superior vena cava and next is inferior vena cava what do you mean by word inferior inferior means lower okay the main function of inferior vena cava is to bring the blood from the lower portion of the body to the heart so this is these are the two main important veins that is superior vena cava and inferior vena cava so su superior vena cava which carries the blood from the upper portion of the body and inferior vena cava which carries the blood from the lower portion of the body to the heart okay so this is about your veins and the last one is capillaries so capillaries are the thinnest among three blood vessels capillaries are the thinnest among three blood vessels and it connects arteries and veins as i said while explaining the the picture of blood vessels okay so next is process of circulation how the circulation is takes place in our body so there is a continuous movement of nutrients oxygen carbon dioxide between the heart to the rest of the body by blood through the blood vessels is called as circulation so circulation is the process in which there is a continuous movement of important nutrients oxygen and carbon dioxide between the heart and the rest part of the body through the blood vessels is called as circulation this is how the circulation process which takes place in our body got it so today in this session we learnt about blood vessels in that arteries veins and capillaries and we are also discussed about the process of circulation stay home stay safe thank you all